All right, everyone, who's ready to go poolside with an Amazon haul? Hi everyone, it's Angela. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if this is your first time here. Today, I have another Amazon clothing haul, and this time, we're going poolside. I have a few things that are not poolside related, but most of them are. I have shoes, I have a swimsuit, I have a cover-up, a bag, a tote bag for the pool, a hat, I, yep, I have a hat, a few other items, that I was kind of randomly looking for for my trip. So I can't wait to share everything with you guys and see what you think. So before we actually get to the runway try on, I wanna show you guys the shoes first so that you guys kinda of get an up close and personal. All right, before I start, Bentley wanted to say hi. He kinda of pawed up on my legs to get up so that he could, uh, you know, be a part of the video again. So here he is. Say hello to the Benwi. Are you gonna say hi? Huh? You're in front of the camera now. What are you gonna do? <laughs> okay, he's done. All right, so the first pair of shoes I have to share with you guys, I love these kind of shoes. I am into a smaller, kind of narrower tennis shoe. And so I always gravitate towards something like this because I don't like a big bulky sole on my tennis shoe and I like them to be narrow looking, and these are not, I don't have to worry about tying them. This brand in particular is Jelly Pop, and they're super cute. They came in all kinds of different colors. I had a pair of Roxy's in this pinkish color last year, and I wore them out. This is my favorite color, and it goes with a lot of my clothes that I already have. So for me, um, I needed a pair, I needed another pair of light pink. I have all kinds of flat little tennis shoes like this, either from Roxy. Uh, I think that's pretty much the only brand I have, but I wanted to try the Jelly Pop. These were $37 or $38. This part here is really cushy, feels really good. I got a size nine, so we're gonna see how that fits. And especially with a lighter sock, I figured, let me go up a little bit and see how those go. So love these love the pink and um so the good find on amazon we're gonna see how those fit okay now i needed a pair of black slip-on kind of flip-floppish type of sandals to wear with my bathing suit to go to the pool i didn't have anything that was appropriate so i got three different options here i'm hoping that you guys can help me with so the first option these are really cute they are by soda and they were $19. They're pretty flat, but I'm hoping that they're comfortable and it's really just to go to the pool. But I also figured I brought a dress down that I have to take with me for dinners, that black polka dot dress that I bought from Amazon last time. And I don't really have a pair of black shoes. Well, I do have one pair of black shoes, but I wanted to see, do these go with it as well? Okay, so here is black sandal option number two. And do you guys recognize anything relating to this right here, the strap? So when I saw these online, I thought, what? That strap is the same kind of strap that was in the swimsuit that I bought, that crisscrosses at the neck. I thought, no way, this is perfect. It goes perfectly. So these were $35, they're by Skechers. And they look very comfortable, um, nice and cushy on the top. I'm not a fan usually of the little in between the toe action. I do have one of those though, just to see how it is. But uh, I generally, because when I walk in them, it just feels like it's jamming in between my toes. So for me personally, I like to look for either something open or maybe that just goes around the big toe, but not in between the toes. So I like the cork bottom on this. Here's the um, bottom of the shoe. And so yeah, those are really cute, right? So we're gonna try these on with the swimsuit and the dress as well. And here we have the third black sandal option. So these are the typical uh, flip-flops. They're by Roxy, as you can tell. And these were $24. And they do feel nice and cushy. So it's got this typical strap on the top. And yeah, they look pretty comfortable. So we're gonna try these on with the swimsuit as well and see how those go. Now, just to give you guys a look, 
These are mine. I've had these since last summer. I got them at Macy's and they are by White Mountain. So that's what they look like from the top. They're a wedge with the cork bottom and they're, they're really cute. So while this would go with what I'm taking, I think the black dress that I'm taking really isn't like a poolside uh, black sandal. So, but we're gonna try it on with the swimsuit and with the dress and you guys let me know. Okay, so why don't we get to the try on? I'll show you everything else that I got and we'll try on all the shoes and you guys can tell me what you think. I'll meet you in the try on. Okay, here we have the first two items. First are these Jelly Pop little tennis shoes that I showed you earlier. Love the color, they're really comfortable. The size nine is perfect for me. They do, I, I found with my Roxy's that they do tend to stretch out a little bit over time. So while my toe is almost right up to the front, I know that they're gonna stretch just a little bit more and be perfect. So, but right now they're very comfortable. And then these are my shorts or Liverpool shorts. I think I got them from Stitch Fix a while ago. And then this is just a Amazon Essentials um, hoodie, a little zip up hoodie. And I love these jackets for traveling, for putting something on at nighttime, just if you get a little bit cool. It does have a hood in the back. It does have two pockets in the front and it's it's thin but not overly thin this was twenty dollars and i love the color on this this is one of my favorite colors you guys know this if you've been watching my channel for any length of time and it will go with a lot of different items that i already have so what do you guys think of these two items oh and one more thing about this hoodie here's the kicker i have another hoodie pink i think it might be a little bit more bubblegumish pink that came in my Wannable that I'm gonna be shooting for you guys as well. So it's gonna be, do I keep this one for 20 or the one in the Wannable box for 60? That one's a lot better quality. I do know that for sure, but this is fine. It's not, doesn't feel cheap to me at all. Okay, here is the next item I wanted to show you guys that I was really excited to find. I was looking just for a small pool bag. Now the one that I'm gonna take on the plane um, for my personal item is a lot bigger. I didn't want to have to tote that around to the pool. So I thought, you know what, let me just see what I can find that would be perfect to put a book in, my phone, um, even though my phone probably won't be working most of the trip because we won't have Wi-Fi. I know I can get it on the ship, but it's like $15 a day per person. So we thought, eh, you know, maybe we'll just go try to do without it for the week. I don't know, that's gonna be hard for all of us, but we'll see. So anyways, back to, back to the bag. Um, you know, just essentials to carry down to the, to the pool with me. Suntan lotion, um, water bottle, whatever. So the reason why I like this, and this came in probably about six other different patterns. I just like the coloring in this. I like the pattern. It's got the handles. Now this is waterproof. Do you hear this? It's like a vinyl or something on the outside. It's a really nice feeling material. So maybe it's not vinyl, but this is waterproof. This could be my instrument. See, while we're sitting by the pool, could just little entertainment. <laughs> All right. So what I liked about this too, is on the inside, it zips shut. So it has a zipper top closure. And when you open it up, Give you a closer look at the pattern. Isn't that pretty? All the different colors and leaves on there. And then on the inside, it has got a pouch right here and it's sewn in, it doesn't come out. But you can put um, things that you wanna easily reach into that pouch. There is no zipper on that little pouch right there. So maybe your sunglasses or your phone or something that you wanna get to um, without digging through the whole bag. And then there is enough, I don't know if you guys can really tell because it's black inside, but I mean, I could fit a laptop in there perfectly and a book and uh, a bunch of other stuff. It's not too big, but it's perfect to take to the pool or to even to the beach. And the, and the thing is taking this kind of bag to the beach because of the material on the outside here, the sand is not gonna gunk it up um, like a canvas bag. 
you know, like a wet sand or whatever, you could just brush that right off of this and it's no big deal. So this was $12. That's a great find. And I'll get tons of use out of this bag. So was this a good find? Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about this item that I ordered. This, which I didn't know about, so I don't know if you all know about it. This is called a sticky bra. <laughs> I had one of my viewers um, tell me that this even existed when I did my trunk video and I had that really low cut maxi dress on, which I loved it, but it was the, the straps were too thin. It was a little bit low and I'm like, what bra do you wear? You can't even wear a strapless bra with it because of the way that it, the way that it was cut, you would have seen that too. So one of my viewers said, have you ever tried a sticky bra? I'm like, what is a sticky bra? What the heck is a sticky bra? I have no idea what that is. She was kind enough to send me a link to that and actually to my hat. So I'm hoping that she's gonna be watching this. We'll find out how it goes. So what this is, I guess, it's got instructions in here, so I will have to read that. Okay, so if you want something that is strapless, you don't have to worry about the straps one iota, and you don't have to worry about a back. So if you have those tops that have the really cool detail in the back, those kind of shirts, you could wear something like this and no problem with the straps at all. You wouldn't see any straps. So yeah, um, I the only color I saw that they came in was nude. And this is gonna be interesting to see what this sucker looks like. Okay, ooh, it is sticky on the inside. Okay, that makes me kind of wonder, like, how is that taking it off? Does it hurt when you take it off? I don't know. So here's what the darn thing looks like. This is very interesting. All right, look at how shiny this is on the inside. Can you see that? There is a lot of stick going on there. And it's got this little closure in the front. I don't want to mess with it too much, but it goes together like this. And somehow you can adjust it on yourself so, you know, it just it just stays there. Okay, so on the box it says, discover comfort and freedom. Only new bra gives you the confidence to eliminate straps all day, every day. That's important right there. You can go to their website to find out application of how you wear this, but there is something in this box too. And you know what? I might as well try it. I, I mean, I, you know, on my own. Okay. Um, <laughs> and I want to try it because now when I get, if it works and if it doesn't rip my skin taking it off, then that would be a great option to have with a backless dress or really low cut dresses. We might have found a solution here. This was $32. You know, try it, I guess. I will try it and let you guys know what my opinion is. That was the most interesting item that I have to share with you guys today, but let's get on with, I'm gonna try on the dress and we're gonna go through the shoes and see what pair of those black sandals looks the best with the dress. Okay, do you guys remember this dress from the last Amazon haul? This is a dress with my shoes. I haven't even looked in the mirror. I don't know if it, it looks hideous or not. <laughs> anyway, so I thought I would show you what my shoes look like with it from afar, and then I will give you a close up too. Okay, so here is the dress a little closer up, so you can see just the bottom and the sandals with it, and you let me know. So that's option number one with this dress. Okay, here's option number two, and these are the soda sandals. <laughs> Bentley, here's the, the soda sandals, the one that have just the one strap that goes over the toe, so now let's take a look close up. Okay, so here's the sandals with the dress close up. I don't know. Um, this strap here is really big. It's, it's not fitted very well at all. And this little portion going around the toe is almost like a choker on that toe. So I'm not really sure if I would even keep these as far as comfort. Yeah, these aren't really that comfortable. Uh, okay, we might be ixnaying choice number two. Okay, here's option number three. And already, I, I size down in these two. I went uh, to an eight, because normally I'm in between an eight and a nine. And these are huge. Um, they're just very floppy. 
they don't really fit well at all. So here's a close up and again, there is just so much room in between um, the strap and my foot and also these straps and my foot. So yeah, that's um, interesting. And, and they're too long too. So I could have probably gone down to a seven and still been okay. I don't know if I'm real wild about these either. Okay, so let's try on the new swimsuit with the new swimsuit cover up and the hat and the pair of Roxy's uh, flip flops. Let's see how all that looks. That's totally pool outfit right there. So I would definitely keep the other cover up that I got in the other ham Amazon haul because I really liked that. But this is kind of in addition to uh, maybe just to be able to throw on over, you know, instead of wearing a whole cover up, just a sarong to kind of walk around the pool area, maybe walk into the, um, the cafe or whatever from the pool area, something like that. So, okay. This swimsuit is exactly the same as the other one that I showed you guys last time that was all black. So I decided to, instead of reinventing the wheel and trying to find a totally different swimsuit that may not look as good or that I liked as well or that was a decent price, I decided to go back and order another one of these swimsuits but just in a different pattern. So let me give you a close up of the pattern. So it is this really pretty black with the different pink flowers with the green leaves. It's really pretty. I just love this swimsuit. Here's the back. I didn't show you guys the back last time because I, I wasn't turning around in this. So there's the back and then this little sarong is ruffled. So it's really sheer material. Can you guys, you can see through it and it's got two layers of ruffling. So it just ties off to the side and you know, just gives you enough coverage to walk around the pool area. Uh, I think the swimsuit was 28 and the sarong, I'm gonna have to check and find out how much that was. And now let's try this outfit on with those Roxy slip-on flip-flops. Here we go with the Roxy's. They're, they're kind of tied together so I can't walk anywhere in them like baby steps. That's all I can do. They are very comfortable, actually. I am really surprised. And obviously, I haven't been able to walk much in them, but the middle between my toes does not feel that annoying to me. And they're very cushy, really cushy. So these feel pretty good. So I'm kind of wondering, these, just for the pool area, these were the most comfortable and they're pretty basic just a you know standard flip-flop pretty much but nice and cushy and these wedges that i already own to go with the black dress what are your thoughts okay you guys are you ready to get a chuckle again okay i have a hat and this might be third strike and i'm out okay so this hat was also recommended to me by one of my viewers who also sent me this link um she's like you know what i think you need to try a floppy hat, like one of those big floppy hats. And she sent me a link to this one that looked really cute on the model. So let's see. Okay, here we go. Uh-huh. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you all think? And I'm not wearing it too high. I was told, which I had no clue, that you want to wear it so that the brim of the hat under is not showing from underneath that I needed to, it needed to be down more. So I don't know, what do you guys think of something like this? It's a very good quality hat. This is really a sturdy, thick hat. I'm really surprised. It does have little uh, straps so that, and it goes from the side, so it would go under your chin. So let's say for boating, it's not coming off because you could attach these straps and it would go under your chin almost like a safari hat and it wouldn't come off. Okay, so let's get a little bit of a closer look at the hat. Um, it's definitely great for sun. Totally great for keeping the, the sun off my face. Um, I just don't know, I don't know. Maybe, oh yeah, maybe I'm just not a hat person. Uh, I don't know what else I would do in the summertime though. Although with our boat, we have a canopy on the top. So if I sit under the canopy, there's really no need for a hat. Um, 
But if I'm walking around outside somewhere, like an art fair or whatever, kind of, you know, it'd be kind of nice to have something. So what are your thoughts on this hat? <laughs> Should I just step away from the hats? You let me know. Oh, so what did we think this time? So I didn't give you guys a rundown. I This time I bought nine items again. I spent $220, but we already know that I'm sending a couple of the pair of shoes back because they weren't comfortable at all. They didn't fit well, they weren't comfortable. So those are definitely going back. And I think one was $35 and one was um, eight, $19. So those are off the top going back. So then we're down to seven items. So I'm looking for your opinions, what you guys think I should keep out of that stuff. And if you guys think the sarong look good with the swimsuit, or maybe should I just stick with the one swimsuit cover up that I got last time? So if you guys are interested in any of the items that I got today, the links will be in the description box. I'll put all those in there for you so it makes it so easy. You just go to that description box, click on the link, and it brings it right up for you. I don't make any money from that. I just, you know, I just enjoy shopping for this stuff myself and then sharing it with you guys. And I will have to give you an update on the sticky bra. When I find the right outfit that I feel like I would definitely wear something like that with because of not needing, you know, not wanting any straps or wanting something backless. Now, I do have a strapless bra, but honestly, you know how sometimes they can hurt a little bit? They push into your ribs because that underwire just kind of digs in after a while. Doesn't feel bad at first, but the longer that you wear it, it's like, oh, it's it's just pushing into my ribs. So it, it gets to the point where it's uncomfortable. So I am anxious to see what this does. So now that I have all of my vacation wear boxes done and hauls, now I'm gonna, I'm ready to do the packing videos. The only things I don't have, which really you don't care about seeing if I put them in my suitcase or not, is I wanna get some toiletries um, before we go, just a little small bottles I can take on the airplane. And I wanna get maybe just a couple pair of new underwear, maybe a new bra, socks, stuff like that. Nothing exciting to show. <laughs> but, so the, the I'm gonna do the packing video next. I have everything I need now to go ahead and do that. And so look for that video coming out probably Wednesday, maybe Thursday of this week. So, and after that, I'm gonna have a Wannable coming out on Saturday, or Friday night. Should My Wannable should come out Friday night. I haven't had a Wannable, you guys, in like a year. And so I was so excited because I told you, they have a really, they have really good quality uh, zip up hoodie sweatshirt jackets. I have one from, uh, I don't know, a year ago that I bought. That's like a uh, maroon wineish color and I love it, love it. So I wanted to get one in pink. And so we'll see how that looks. So those are the next two videos I have coming, the packing and Wannable. I hope that you guys will stick around and join me for those. Until I see you guys next time, I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.